So, I've ended up... I ended up falling asleep because I was pretty damn tired. Truth. <coughs> I was just tired of this. So, I've ended up... I ended up falling asleep because I was pretty damn tired. Right, so, what was I going to say? Um, <sighs> so, um, yeah, uh, <coughs> I was pretty sleepy last night. Well, I wasn't just a combination of sleep and I was, I had a bit of a headache and I wasn't feeling 110%, so I'm like, eh, fuck this, so I ended up going to bed and falling asleep. <sighs> Which was not too bad. Uh, woke up about, oh, I think it was about 3am, and, um, couldn't get back to sleep sort of thing, staring at the freaking thing, I don't know, just, uh, I think it was my frame of mind, just how I was feeling at the time. So, right, I'm not feeling too bad now, I'm feeling better than I did originally, I felt like crap originally, I had an awful fucking headache, and I just needed to clear my head, basically, um, which was great, I... I've got a bit of sleep. My headache seems to have um, disappeared, which is great. But, uh, yeah. I'm a little tired, I guess. Um, I could probably sleep for a little bit longer, but uh, fuck it, I'm up anyway, so. <clears throat> Frankly, anyway. Um, so, in the meantime. I'll probably find that my download's a lot better because I actually ended up completing those downloads overnight. Uh, the downloads that I end up, ended up completing was, and I will say it does make a hell of a difference to my stream, whether I'm downloading or not, um, I've <laughs> managed to download Fallout 4, which is marvellous, of course. That's great. Always good. Um, oh, I've got to risk pick. Just trying to figure out if I can just turn some shit down. How long is I going to run around repeating fucking... Uh, I should probably turn some shit down. Maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe. Um, we're going to repeating. Let's turn that down a bit. And the streaming part anyway. So. Yeah, I was download. I downloaded Dishonored. That downloaded pretty quick because it was only like five point something gigabytes, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah. So. I'm not doing too bad this morning. I'm like, I'm relatively awake. I woke up about 3 a.m. I couldn't get back to sleep. I just, I don't know. <sighs> I guess my mind was wandering, to be truthful. I, don't know, I think coffee is probably in order to wake me up at this point. Um, uh, as I said, I was going to do some streaming last night. It's just like, yeah, no, it's like I had a headache. I'd had a couple of bourbon and colas, and I don't know why. I don't know whether it was those that gave me the headache, or I just had a headache, because I had a headache. I mean, you know, you get headaches from time to time, it happens. Um, you're going to get those. I just, as long as if I get them very often, I, just every so often, I just get a nasty headache or an annoying headache. But, you know, such is life, you can't really do much about headaches. You can try and avoid them as much as possible, take a painkiller here and there. But sometimes you just have to bear through them, bear and grin. Uh, <clears throat> in some cases, not always. Um, so I was sitting there last night, decided, nah, fuck it. I'm like, I was tired as hell. So I couldn't see a foot in front of me. Well, I could see you, but I don't know, I just, bleh. Yeah, well, I couldn't really see a foot in front of me. I was like, bleh. I was that tired, I was just like, nah, fuck this, I'm going to bed. <laughs> So I went to sleep, woke up about 3 a.m. and I'm like sitting there and it's like, yeah, I really don't feel like doing anything. And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, oh well. And then it came to about 5, 6 a.m. Yeah, it probably would have been close to almost 5 a.m. I think it's about 5 a.m. now. And I'm like, yeah, I'm awake. I'm wide awake. Let's do some streaming, shall we? I mean, it is still remarkably freaking hot here at the moment. Um, it was hot overnight. It wasn't fucking cool. Um, could have been the heat too that maybe gave me 
possibly gave me a headache too. Combination of maybe, uh, you know, I didn't have much alcohol, but still, it probably could have been combined with the alcohol and might have dehydrated me a bit, and I was just feeling tired that way, in that sense of things. So, I don't know what the temperature is going to be like today. It should be, it might be bloody hot. Most likely, it's going to be freaking hot. And that's always fun. It's always fun when it's extremely steaming hot, especially in the middle of fucking summer. Yes, summer, it's joyful. I don't know, sort of, then, it's a catch-22, see, my joints tend to act up more in winter. I don't get joint problems, I think I get, I feel hotter in summer, but I don't get as much joint pain in summer as I do in winter. So, it's, it's sort of a catch-22 thing, it's like, oh well, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so I got Fallout 4 downloaded, which I'm going to play that at some point. I'm just mucking around with this this morning. I'm just like, yeah, let's start some streaming off and we're doing money around on the Xbox. Uh, da, da, da. Um, Franklin again, as you know, that's where I left off last night, which I pretty much decided to be Franklin. I was like, yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'm not even connected to the Xbox. No, I'm not connected to the Xbox Live. It's, it's hilarious. <clears throat> A little bit annoying. That's all right. I figured my internet probably disconnected me last night. Uh, so, what do I got? Um, not feeling too bad this morning. That is online. That is online. Not really anybody else is online. Yeah, most people aren't really online at the moment. That's alright. I'm just more playing on my own, just waking myself up as they say. I, I do honestly believe the video games do increase uh, increase blah, 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 blah. I'll say it again. <laughs> do increase accuracy and dexterity. Uh, so I do think they do help sometimes in some situations. I think I was saying last night I was I played a bit of hatred, which it's supposedly a controversial game. It's not available in Australia and like I the only way I was actually able to get access to it was to through torrenting. Which I don't particularly like doing all the time. I mean I do from time to time admit Admittedly, I think anybody in the IT industry has probably done that at some point in their life. But, I don't like... Uh, as I said, if, if I feel something like a piece of software or, or something is specifically worth the money, that, you know... If it's worth the money, sure, I will pay for it. No problems. But I played a bit of it, and as I said, I don't think it's that controversial. I mean, okay, you go on a shooting spree, sure. Um... <coughs> is that controversial in the sense that that's not just the norm in everyday society these days? Well, you know, there's a lot more shooting sprees than there used to be, uh, in comparison. I don't think Australia's ever really had a shooting free spree for the long freaking time. There's more, more America that does get them. But, statistically, more likely if, you know, you don't have, um, well, well, you're statistically more likely if you do have guns readily available. Um, whereas it's not as much with Australia. Uh, the government's still shit out, so... I have a moment where our government just drives me nuts. And it's like... Eh, it's like anything, I think every government drives everybody nuts at some point, whether it's through taxation or... laws that just make no fucking sense and are simply there to collect your fucking revenue in the first place, because you think, why the fuck was that law created? I mean, okay, I can understand some laws, sure. But there's a few laws I just gonna go, seriously, what the fuck? That, that, that law is purely based on the fact that you want money because somebody did this particular thing. <coughs> then you've got the other one too, which is the common sense laws, you know. Like, people shouldn't do that shit and they should have enough common sense not to fucking do it. <laughs> so, that's alright. <sighs> so, I'm relatively wide awake this morning. Just need a bazooka. Out of my way, bitch. I'm just gonna shoot at something. Boom! Goes the fucking testicle, bitch. So, not not feeling too bad this morning. I just uh, had a hamburger and chips. I also had a hamburger and chips before I. Uh, well, not before I went to bed, but just a bit before, probably about 20 or an hour or so before I went to bed. Uh, uh, probably two hours, maybe something like that. I had dinner anyway. That was my dinner. Um, not wasn't too bad, I just, um, I was a bit frustrated, 
I ended up getting a headache because I'm like sitting there, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't think it had anything to do with the hammer and chips. I think it had more to do with the alcohol. But <laughs> so, what did I end up doing? I was chilling, killing last night a little bit, and then obviously, in the infinite wisdom of my beautiful, wonderful, spectacularly super duper internet con connection, you can tell the fucking sarcasm dripping off that one. Um, I had to wait. I think the actual download ended up being about 9 hours. 9 hours for um, Fallout 4 to download. It is 24 gigabytes, so what did I expect? I mean, it probably took it probably took about the same amount of time for GTA 5. No, it took longer for GTA 5. It was like 12 hours or something. Because it was uh, 54 gigabytes. So, yeah. Always fun. That's the only thing that I hate. Being on a shitty internet connection... And trying to download massive fucking game files. That's... It's fun, but it's also... It's extremely freaking fun. So at least my streaming's looking better now. I'm looking at my stream and I'm like, Wow, what the fuck? And it was pretty much because I maxed my download out. Uh, that's pretty much the reason that my stream looked like a piece of ass. Because I did look at the actual... I looked back on what the stream looked like and I'm like, What the fuck? That, yeah, it looked retarded, to be honest, and I'm like, wow, that's just, wow, yeah, special. Totally special, because it just, most of the time it didn't work, and half the time it did work, so it was sort of, it can minus the two. And, on the plus side, at least, now it's looking better than it did. It looks like shit, it really did. So, teaches me a lesson not to max my download out too much, um, and try to run a stream at the same time, because... I mean, I, I, I do know that streaming does require upload and upload and download. I'm well aware of that. But um, I just didn't think... Um, I thought upload was more important. But... I uh, guess not. I guess... The, so the, well, I mean, on an ADSL... There's an ADSL 2 connection, so... I gotta expect the fact that if I max out my download, it's gonna fuck with the rest of my connection. It's just lovely Telstra copper lines. Copper. Seriously... Like, I don't know, our current government has decided to buy, um, I don't know how many fucking pounds of copper to replace the copper that's already fucking aging, and dying, and falling apart, and they've decided to replace all the copper, so they can, um, give us, uh, I think it's copper to the node, like the node, directly to the node sort of thing, so to replace the aging copper and give it better quality copper line, they've, they've bought up a whole shitload of new copper, and... I mean, by the time they buy all that fucking copper, they could have saved some money and just bought fucking fiber. Because that was the original plan for the NBN, or the National Broadband Network. <laughs> Up until the point that it's like, oh no, that's too expensive. That, that's going to cost us money. It's going to take the money out of our government-lined pockets. Yes, that's right. That's right. I'm insinuating that governments have a corruption level. Not just a corruption level, but the fact that they, they line their own pockets in most cases. And that's the truth of the situation. Anybody who doesn't know that, or doesn't believe that, is an idiot. Yeah. An absolute idiot. There's no way people these days can not think that the government is not padding itself up. I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, at the end of it, I can sort of understand they're trying to look after their own business perspective in combination of their own, of themselves. But it's still freaking sad. Because uh, some of the funding could go to better things. Some of it could. So, um, what did I um, end up doing that? Now my bandwidth's looking good. I can actually see on the screen that I'm streaming correctly. And it doesn't look like it's been fucked in the ass with a giant dildo. Which is marvellous, by the way. And, uh... I'm downloaded Fallout 4. I'm gonna have to boot it up, obviously, and try it out. And, uh, we should see how that goes. Should be interesting. I'm gonna try Dishonored and Fallout 4. Those are the two. I picked up, uh, Fallout 4 for about 60-something bucks. 63 bucks. 60, yeah, something like that. 60, 63, something like that. Uh, around that price, anyway. So it wasn't too badly priced, and I was pretty happy with what I paid for it. Um, I saved myself some money by not uh, going directly off Steam. I bought it for a reseller, or a key reseller, which is uh, 
my advice if you're going to buy something these days. <clears throat> and, uh, what else? Um, oh, there's another one I bought for the key reseller, which was um, Dishonored, which was only six bucks. I was quite happy with the price. I was thinking of actually just for the hell of it, and I mean, I don't know, the game's got some pretty bad controversy because of the fact that they're turning around saying, oh, no, 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 the game doesn't support all this shit. And it's like, you, you know, you get really, really, really shit frame rates. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, hmm, should I or shouldn't I? And I mean, if it was cheaper, if it would have been cheaper than $21, which it was $21 on the key reseller I was on, I would have bought it. Probably most likely, yes. Um, it was uh, Batman Arkham Knight. I was thinking of actually purchasing it and trying it out. Just for the hell of it. Just to see how it runs on my 770s. Why the hell not? Well... Yeah, and then, and then I sort of thought about it, and I thought about the price that was on it, and I'm like, no, nah, fuck that. I ain't going to do that. There is no way I'm going to buy that now, because there's no way to tell specifically what my performance level is going to be when I get the game. So at the end of it, um, I'm sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place if it does shit itself when I tried to play it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I think you can still get a refund for most things, but yeah, I didn't want to have to go through that, to be honest. And if it, as I said, if it had been cheap enough, like say six, maybe fifteen bucks. If it had been fifteen bucks, I might have considered buying it, just for the hell of it to try it. Um, but it was like twenty-one bucks. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. no, no, no. That's too much money. It's too much money. So I am um, not feeling too bad. Well, as I said, I think I already said that about ten times this morning. OCD people, seriously. <laughs> My problem. Damn your OCD, motherfucker. <laughs> a little focused. Yes, I'm just a little focused, I swear. And I, I woke up this morning about, about 3 a.m. I'm like, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. No, I'm not. I'm here, I swear. Fuck me. For Christ's sake, anyway. Okay, so. One of the games what I, was I interested in? There was a few others, like. Ah, oh, man. Fallout 4 was on the top of my list. The problem with Fallout 4 is that I had to wait. I would have got it on launch, but uh, I figured, no, fuck it. I don't see the... P well, no, I didn't. It's not that I didn't see the point. I just didn't have the money for it. <laughs> if, I, if I'd had the money at the time when it was launched, or if I pre-ordered it, sure. But I didn't pre-order it because it's not that I don't like Fallout, the Fallout games. I just wasn't mm, going to be... Yeah, I wasn't going to majorly in tune it. Uh, and that's the reason I ended up picking up cheap. Because I figured, oh, why not? You know, I, I just wasn't... Like, you know how certain people are hyped for certain games? My game would be the main game I'd be hyped for, which is GTA V. Um, my favourite of all time when it comes to most games. And I always wait for the big release of GTA V, whether it be there's a PC version, obviously, and of course there's the console version. Now, the only thing I'm mitigating, or the only thing I'm thinking to myself is that I'm going to have to, at some point, buy an Xbox One. Yes, I'm going to have to make the investment uh, at a later date, obviously, but um, just mainly because I think it's going to be released on console first. That's exactly what's going to happen. And it's going to be exactly like 360, it's just going to get released on console as a first preference, and then PC is just going to be later on. Not that I... I mean, as I said, PC shouldn't be treated like a second-rate thing, because it is damn good. I mean, it's not fucking shithouse. I mean, PCs are quite, graphically speaking, hardware speaking, technology speaking, they're a lot more advanced. So, let's see. Some interesting stuff I've been looking up to. Like, I mean, my, my processor in my computer is an AMD. It's an AMD 9590. Um, I'm looking forward to the new Zen processors. They look interesting. I mean, not that I'm not an Intel person, I do have a couple of Intel computers around the house, don't get me wrong, I think well, probably one computer in total, which is my workstation slash workbench computer, which is an Intel computer, it's, you know, uh, it's only a dual core, but, uh, it's still a pretty, still a pretty good computer regardless, and serves me, serves me well for the purposes that I use it for, which is, you know, uh, inventory, data backup of clients, and getting hard drives, scanning hard drives, things of that nature. So yeah, it, it works pretty well. I'm pretty happy. Um, at this point, <coughs> I'm looking forward to the Zen processors because it looks interesting, some of the stuff they... 
uh, apparently some of the stuff and some of the specs and some of the the, the tests that they were running on it and you know it's, which pretty much the words were to some of was no significant bottlenecks I'm like okay cool cool sounds good um, we'll see which we'll see what happens with AMD as I said I'm, I'm neither an Intel or an AMD fan in particular I just I bought AMD because it's cheaper because I'm on a budget <laughs> and probably if I have the money I might go for an Intel system or I might try to build a more expensive Intel system at a later date uh, just not right now no, I don't have the necessary funds to do so, but maybe at a later date I will consider it. An i7 or something of that nature? Uh, possibly. Yeah, that's something I'm considering. But, at this point in time, uh, I've got my AMD machine, which is working very well. My South Korean Wasabi monitor. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, I, I pick and choose with brands, you know. I'm, some things I can be really picky with, some things I just uh, care less. And some things I honestly think going a bit of a cheaper route is not a bad idea because you get a bit more flexibility. Like, for example, this uh, my Wasabi Mango monitor, which I'm currently using as my Xbox screen as well as my PC screen. I, I, I was able to overclock it, which was a fantastic thing. Um, instead of actually having to, go in, having to go and pay for... I mean, I, I didn't overclock it. I couldn't overclock it majorly, but I could overclock it to like 77 hertz, which, you know... Is the typical uh, rate of a monitor these days is 60. So, you know, at the end of it, I'm not too bad. I'm I'm pretty glad that I did what I did. Pretty glad I bought it because I was able to overclock it. I'm like, yeah, fuck, man, that's perfect. I did an overclocking video which shows people actually how it was, or well, how I overclocked it. Um, aside from how I overclocked it, just uh, just shows people <clears throat> what the Wasabi Mango brand is like <clears throat> for a South Korean monitor. Um, not too bad this morning. And, uh, I don't know, I'm like blocked up. It's always lovely nasal sprays. Nasal sprays. Uh, you know, make the world go around and help you breathe easier. So, let's see. I am. Um, I think at this point. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty happy with the brands that I've chosen. Um, whether it be down, okay, I, okay, if you're going to buy a 4K monitor, which I did have a 4K monitor at one point, sold that off, bought my Wasabi, um, the 4K monitor that I had, which was a Samson UD590, which was not a bad monitor, by the way, and to be honest, it did work, it worked quite well, um, it's just my video cards being 770s, and I it was just cheaper for me in the long run. I, I, I didn't feel like going to investing in it into 970s or higher cards. And even if I wanted to go for the higher cards, the price premium markup on every freaking video card in Australia is ridiculous. It's just, it's ludicrous. It's, ah, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. that There's just no justification for a 200% retail markup on most fucking things in this country. And it's not just here. It's also Japan, apparently, I think, and Asia. Which, that doesn't make sense, because everything made, everything's made in fucking Asia. So why wouldn't it be cheaper in Asia? See? Do you, do you see my dilemma here? I mean, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> if all of the electronic stuff and crap and stuff that we buy on a regular basis is made in Asia, why the hell is Australia not getting some type of discounts? Why are we not getting a discount, firstly? Why are we not getting some type of, um, well, not just discount, but what, you know, some type of deal? As I said, it just doesn't make sense to me. And, uh, I guess that's just life, really. Sometimes shit don't make sense. Don't make sense at all. It's like people who don't have, who aren't sensible, who just have the have no ability to be sensible at all in their life and they make the most stupid decisions. It, yeah, it amazes me. It, not just that, 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 that partly amazes me because I've always realised that there are stupid people out there, but... Uh, just people not having enough common sense. Common sense, see, that's, that's the thing. So it's not... 
<sighs> there we go, I was trying to sneeze. It didn't work. <sighs> no, no. Yeah, it's not working. No. You can't sneeze yet, motherfucker. Yeah, I blow my nose, maybe. Ugh, God. Sometimes, sometimes you just want to blow your nose. <laughs> oh, that was way better. Oh, God. At least I slept reasonably well. I mean, reasonably. So from waking up at 3 a.m. <sighs> I wake up at 3 a.m. I'm like, eh, what? Mm. A little bit of negativity in my life. I, I don't know, maybe. See, I was feeling a bit negative last night, but I think it was just my mood at the time. I was like, eh, why am I so negative? Or why am I feeling negative? And I think it was just down to me having a headache. Like, oh, I'm sorry, you have a headache. It's going to make you feel negative. You want a fucking migraine, bitch? There you go. We'll hand that. We'll, we'll hand that over to you. There we go. It wasn't a migraine, really. It was just more of a all over the head ache, really. But hmm. ah, God, fucking nose. Seriously. Stop with snot. National Snot Association. Snobby nose, snot bastard. Yes, that's right. Snotty. 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 Ah, uh, naughty. Jesus. <laughs> naughty. Naughty, you motherfucker. Give me back your fucking car, bitch. Uh, where'd I go with that one? Oh, no, 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 there we go. So. I'm coming around to the idea of waking up this morning. It's getting there. I'm sort of... Yeah... Getting close to waking up, but I'm like, eh, boo, boo, that, that, me, me, me. You know, just not quite there, not quite should be, maybe. Sorry, getting there eventually. Now, <laughs> uh, oh, god damn it, my nose. Why do you get blocked with the mucous membranes? Because I'm a hay fever addict. Mainly because I have hay fever, and I always have had hay fever. And we are just starting to feel the effects of summer, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Australia's snuffly season. You want a block nose? Fucking sinus headache. Welcome to Australia. It's fucking summer slash spring. That's when all the fucking pollen gets stuck up your fucking nose. Makes it feel like it's blocked up and backed up like an old fucking sink. Exactly. sound like a National Trumpet Association. Of course. Yes. That's what colds... That's what beautiful, wonderful things do to you when you've got hay fever. And, well, partly I think it's related... No, well, partly me sounding like a trumpet is just me. Because I'm naturally a loud person anyway. So, hmm. Probably comes from... Uh, I don't know. It just stems from me being a bit egotistical and narcissistic perhaps well I think everybody inclined anybody who makes a selfie or anybody who does pictures on Facebook or just does general stuff of that nature is going to have a bit of narcissism and you know egomaniac in them not completely bad but I mean some days you just wake up and it's like oh yeah I'm just I'm having a real good day today you know like it's like what the fuck are you doing I'm trying to take over the world pinky Pinky in the brain. Pinky in the brain. Holy shit. I should probably not drive straight into a fucking guardrail. See, this is not the correct driving procedure, people. Do not, I repeat, do not drive into a fucking guardrail at 100 miles an hour. This will not earn you points with the License Association. Not at all. <laughs> uh, so. What's... I need coffee, and obviously coffee will be... I killed you, and you liked it. I killed a guy, and he liked it. Taste of my AK-47. Wow, I'm quoting Katy Perry songs and using analogies like I killed an AK-47. 
this instead of chapstick. Well, that's just fucking marvelous. Marvelous, I tell you. Wonderful. Couldn't go for something fucking original now, could you? Not at all. What is the fucking fun in that? Huh. I don't need that. Need associated explosives. Yay! No, 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 no. I want. There we go. I want grenades. Because there's a lot of grenades. Damn it. Gotta say though, considering this Wasabi Mengu monitor is not really designed for, well, it's sort of, I guess, is designed for this resolution, but it's not really designed for this resolution. It don't look bad, so... I won't argue with that too much. How the fuck did that not blow up? Get fucked. No fucking way. Hello? Seriously? Like, you guys, everybody would have seen that. What the fuck, I just threw a grenade straight at that motherfucker, and it did not fucking punch. How the fuck is that? I swear, I, sw I threw it... Ugh, I'm dying. I threw it right next to that fucking car, and it should have just blown to pieces. And no, nothing at all. Just Kaputsky. It's all gone. At least my stream looks better. The benefit of having a browser window on your <laughs> benefit of having a browser window on your on a separate screen. Well, yeah, I've got my Xbox on this on my main Wizard Mango screen, and then I've got my little uh, streaming window in the corner with the chat in the corner as well. So yeah, it looks pretty good actually. It's uh, hmm, yeah, quite impressed. Looks a lot better than it did. That's the reason that I'd like a better download. I don't know. I'm not a greedy person. I don't want like a thousand up and a thousand down or something. I don't want fucking people five or sort of thing. All I want... I'd be happy for... 40 down, 40 up. That'd, that'd do me just fine. I don't think that's asking too much. Fuck 25 and 25 down. 25 up and 25 down would be fine. But, uh, no. No, I don't have that. I have, um, 4 up. Sorry, 4 down. And, uh, below 1 megabit down. It's like 800 and 888 kilobytes per second. And you wonder why I have trouble supporting. <laughs> Supporting streaming on my connection. <laughs> this is the reason. Because of my beautiful, beautiful internet. And I probably complain countless times about the fact that it's fucking retarded. But unfortunately, the situation that I'm in is I've only got, really, only got a few options. I've got the option to move, which at this point is not really an option because I don't have anything available and I'm renting the property so oh well my dad my, my dad and my nephew and me are renting the property and yeah it's just not, not an ideal situation to get out of it or um it's not an ideal situation to um, well I don't know we just we did put into I think a housing commission or something like that or something of that nature I don't know what it was um some rental place and just see if there's any houses available. But yeah, there's a special. It's, it's like a government thing. It's like a waiting list a mile fucking long. So yeah, that no idea when, if ever, we will move house. Uh, mainly because we got on a priority list. Sure, we you know we got priority because of my conditions and stuff like that and things of that nature. But. Uh, uh, only a certain degree of priority. Um, there's like extremely high, high needs people who don't actually have a house at all. 
and they come with preferences first. And I'm guessing there's a few people on that list because uh, we haven't been tacked forward or anything like that to um, the others. So. EK47. Uh, guns. Guns, guns. Guns do solve some problems. Violence is not always the answer, though. That's the truth of the situation. Sometimes violence is not the answer. Violence is not the answer. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Sometimes violence doesn't do anything but exacerbate the situation and make it worse. And basically, it causes nothing but issues, whether it be drama, bullshit, or just people being idiots. And then there's some situations where I agree. There's a little violence, defense, whatever you want to call it. Not really violence, I guess, if it's defensive. Um, is required. It's required in certain situations. No argument there. I totally agree. Um, but, there are other situations where sometimes a little finesse and tactful wordplay can make things a lot better and easier to deal with. I can't get in here. What the fuck? Open up! No, you motherfuckers. I want to go in there. I have to fucking break in or something. Huh. George Clinton. Dear Clinton. Clinton. Dear Clinton. Dear Clinton. George W. Bush. Oh, whatever. I probably require... I probably require that. I probably require more caffeine to function, but I have not partaken of the caffeine variety this morning. Hopefully, I will at some point. Yes, I'm very poor, shan't I? Indeed, indeed. Oh, what are I? Crazy shit. It's always the crazy shit that happens the most. Sometimes, you just gotta be crazy. I'm going to be crazy to live in a world like this. Oh, shit. Crazy. Oh, God, seriously? It's like a fucking leaky tap. <laughs> so what exactly did you do this morning? I sat here and watched a man... I, I sat here and watched this man play GTA 5 while randomly blowing his nose in hay fever season. In a country at the moment which is so fucking dry that you probably couldn't find a drink of water. <clears throat> That's lovely. Hmm. So what did I do this morning? Well, you know. Not much. Yep. There we go. Grenades. A case of grenade for you. Through all this pain, I put a bullet right through your brain. Ugh. Occasionally, there's just some people you think a bullet to the brain would probably improve things. <laughs> and I don't think it's everybody is the case, but there's some people you do think that. What would help? A bullet to the brain. Oh, it's marvelous. It's a new innovative therapy. It's called lead therapy. Lead therapy, that's right. What does this do? What does this lead therapy do, you ask? Well, it, it incapacitates the individual so they are unable to cause bullshit in other people's lives. Actually, I'm pretty... Re I'm, re I'm remarkably fucking sharp this morning for the fact that I went to bed and I like fell asleep and I like I thought I wouldn't wake up and do it. So I'm remarkably sharp this morning. I'm I'm just surprised. I'm coming out with some good zingers. I'm like, wow, I wow. That's 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 wow, it's been a while since that's ha that's happened. But uh yeah. I'm like surprised. 
Yeah. The only thing I wouldn't... Actually, the thing I want to get is... Uh, better headphones for my microphone. Which... These aren't too bad. But I think I can get better ones with like... A better homage. I don't know. Like proper DJ studio mixing ones. Mainly because I think these ones are... That they're, they're not as dynamic and as, as sensitive as you would want them to be. I don't know, I'll see. But the one I was... Oh, shit. The one I was looking at was uh, Synergizer. Uh, Syn Synergizer, I think it is. Which is a, actually a very good stereo brand in the sense of, like, you know, if you're buying high-end stereo sort of equipments, they're a very good brand. I saw some for 40 bucks. Sure. Yeah, when I get the chance, I might buy them. At a later date. I don't know, there's, there's a couple of things I, I'm planning on. Well, I think I can get a spare screen from the place I do charity work, or help out. Some sort of charity work com combination, you know, help out computers for the needy and stuff. I can get a screen from them to replace the aging problem problematic screen that I currently have, which is a Sam uh, Samson. It works, it just uh, occasionally it dies. And just, well, the backlight is starting to die, anyway. Because every time you turn it off, you turn it on, or you leave it off for an extended period of time, you turn it back on and the backlight starts blinking. On top of that, part, half, the <clears throat> half the screen's fucked. Basically, like, part of it's darked out, and, yeah, so basically, the LED, I think the LED's going in it, to be truthful, uh, from what I can see. I mean, I haven't taken it apart or anything, but, um, you know, I'm going to say that. So, I'm going to see if I can get one from work there, that's cool. Um... The one of the things I want to do is with my laptop, my work laptop, is get a hybrid HD, uh, hybrid um, laptop drive, which is half half effort, uh, la, la, half SSD slash uh, normal hard drive. So I think it's like one terabyte ones, it's like 170 bucks. I'm like, yeah, that's that, that's not too bad considering. Um, I've seen. A lot, a lot of other prizes which are worse I've seen like 170 something bucks or 150 bucks so I figured I was yeah I was saving a significant amount by going with the $117 one which looks good um the other thing I was probably going to save for which was uh I don't know fuck what was it uh what was the damn thing oh that's right yeah um Two new 970s at some point. Possibly. Possibly. I will see. I will see. Uh, mainly because I'm not sure. Mainly because I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure. I mean, I'm not sure about the 970s because of... I mean, I have a... I mean, I don't know. Look, at this point, I want to upgrade to Windows 10, but I can't because there's still SLI issues with Windows 10. Um, basically, because the last time I tried to go into Windows 10 and had and use SLI, it balked itself. It, just, it fucked itself in the ass because it was, that, that's with my two 770s. Um, I turned it on and it broke. It, um, SLI just broke. It, no longer worked, and I couldn't get I couldn't get my games to work pretty much. So yeah, it it worked the first time that I switched it on, and you know games worked all that stuff. That was good, but uh, immediately after I rebooted, it's like damn, it just dies in the ass. I'm like fuck, I'm like damn your eyes. Why is this shit not working, man? Oh my god, fucking mucus. Ah. Oh. Wow, that's a good one. Mm. That is so much better. That's right, hay fever season. Get used to hearing a fucking trumpet every every so often on my on my videos from now on. This includes my YouTube videos. It's just a pre warning. <laughs> Uh, am I a rude individual? Perhaps. I could probably wait until I actually had finished or, you know, paused the stream or something, but I was like, fuck it. Just fuck it. 
I don't see the fucking point. The human body is naturally sometimes a disgusting thing and sometimes its functions are not necessarily the most petite and cute and endearing. It's just how the body works, people. Seriously. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid the way the body works. You can't avoid how any of that stuff works, basically. So, you know. It's just how it is. And at the end of it, if you're disgusted with the human body, then you truly don't know the human body that well. Because ultimately, that's what the human body is. It's just a big mucus, sweat, semen, you name it, spit, mucus, whatever. It's a, it's one of those factories anyway. It's a big fucking factory like that, so. If it's not all that shit, it's just, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> I mean, of course you can keep it clean, you can, you know, you can maintain it, no argument, but, um, sometimes, just sometimes... Unfortunately, the human body itself is sadly. Yeah. Oh my god. Not the most luxurious thing in the world. But at least. Oh shit. At least I look at it from the perspective that I know, like, some people you think these days, like, I mean, there's certain, or certain aspects, like, I mean, we all know the human body is a disgusting thing regardless. But the context of it, the truth is, you know, natural human bodies, like, I mean, you can artificially suppress things, no, no doubt there, but sometimes the human body, by suppressing those particular questions, uh, those items in question, it can cause more problems than it fixes. So, yeah. Speaking from experience, especially when it comes to psychosis, depression, psychotic conditions, sometimes suppressing certain urges or certain things in your body can do more damage than good. It's not always the case, it's just sometimes. Though I do pretty well considering, I have pretty good control. And I have pretty good outlook on most things. Most things. Uh, it depends on the circumstance, I guess, but you know, each individual to their own. I do what I do, bitch, I do what I do. Police cars everywhere. They seek him here, they seek him there. Uh, my, where did I get that quote? Monty Python. I do love Monty Python movies. Fucking holy grail. It's a fucking bunny rabbit, bitch. What the fuck? Evil motherfucking bunnies. A friend of mine, Ronnie, she's always talking about it in the context of evil bunnies. Motherfuckers. It's like evil bunnies did it, man. I didn't fucking do it. It was a fucking evil bunnies, motherfucker. Those evil fuckface motherfuckers. Those motherfuckers. I don't know. I swear a lot. That's another issue. Well, some people would consider it an issue. Some people just consider it honest. I think it is honest if you're going to square a lot. I mean, well, statistically speaking. Which, you know, I've been reading that. I've been reading on and off. You know, if somebody swears a lot at the end of it, they I don't know. Means they're more blatantly honest with things. Oh my god, I'm like tired, man. I'm, I'm sort of tired. I probably need coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah, it's a coffee world. Sometimes coffee can be your friend. Caffeine, nothing but caffeine. I probably need espresso cups. I got those little K cup. I got a K cup machine. K cup machine. Well, yeah, K cup machine. And uh, one of those. And um, it's a good machine. I just have run out of K cups for it, unfortunately. 
And they're normally like a 12 strength anyway. It's like, yeah, fucking bouncing off the walls with caffeine, bitch. <laughs> like, what do you like, bitch? I like fucking caffeine. Lots and lots of caffeine. Well, not always. Sometimes I don't drink. I can go a few weeks without caffeine if I really want to. Yeah, I mean, you do get withdrawal from caffeine, so it's very true. It's normally associated with headaches and just feeling like crap. But fuck, you can get, you can get withdrawals from everything. Fuck. If you are the type of person who's easily addicted, you can get withdrawals from any fucking thing. It doesn't matter what the hell it is. To painkillers, to codeine tablets, to fucking cigarettes, to booze. You name it, you can get... Yeah, you can pretty much get withdrawal from anything. Anything at all. Caffeine. Natural supplements. Fuck. Some people are more susceptible than others. You learn that in the process of things. Then some people have sort of turned around and said to me, okay, is it possible to get addicted, to, or, you know, addicted to weed? Or have a withdrawal symptom from weed? That was an interesting thing which I looked into, because I was curious. Now, I know for a fact that weed is supposed to be good for, you know, certain conditions, certain things. I also, some of the research I've come across, it has shown that it can have withdrawal symptoms. Ever so slight in their own way, and of course, you know, it is not bad to detox your body if you do smoke a bit of the ganja. But, um, the thing about that ganja is that that detoxification process is like anything else. So, at the end of it, I don't know, as I said, you can get withdrawal symptoms. I thought interesting. I don't know. It depends on the person. See, it, all does, it also depends on the person. Some people, you know, maybe with some people, their severity, the severity of their symptoms of uh, withdrawals uh, may not be that severe. It might like give you a freaking really, really nasty headache that they just can't seem to get rid of. Or the other side of it could be joint pains or chills or something of that nature. So. It's the same context of like, you know, fluxetine based medications. I'm not sure about antipsychotics. I mean, the antipsychotics tend to balance the brain out in a certain in certain particular situations. I don't know. Probably can get yeah, most likely there's probably withdrawal to antipsychotics too. Why are you taking this medicine? So I don't get the withdrawal symptoms. Stupid though. But we do live in a world where everything is pretty much a pill way. If you can't find a damn pill that will fix your problem, then you're not looking hard enough. I don't know, I, I, I sort of believe that, but I also believe that sometimes a little natural detoxification is okay. Um, this includes charcoal, like putting charcoal for your body. Um, well, I always I have a lot of natural supplements that I take. I also take some pharmaceutical things which are beneficial to myself. My antipsychotic medication, of course, and my antidepressant. But I do find sometimes it is necessary to detoxify yourself from these particular medications in certain circumstances. Um, I mean, as long as you don't get too much stress when you're coming off them, because it's normally the side effects of coming off them that actually make you feel ten times worse. Um... You're fine. It's when you get the stresses. Though, I think it's all down to someone's attitude, I guess, in the individual, whether they stress or not. Um, yeah. I think it's down to the individual. I do have my moments where I get overly sensitive about things, and I get... Um, I'm not just overly sensitive, I get... I, I take things too serious. Uh, I don't... I don't, I, 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 in a sense, I just lose, I lose my sense of humour. I find it hard to laugh at some things and then not at others, and yeah, it's a combined, it's a bad, so. 
most of the time I'm detoxing pretty well though. I think we all need to detox from time to time. It's good. It's good to detox. The medication. Unfortunately, I live in a world where there pretty much most solutions these days involve a pill or something of that nature. Either a pill or smoke something, I don't know. Smoke something, inject something into your arm, it'll fix you. <laughs> Supposedly. Supposedly. And I think that some of this stuff doesn't do anybody any good anyway. And I, don't know, I don't believe in, like... I don't, I don't, I don't criticise people who smoke weed, because you don't, well most of the time I don't see really negative effects with most people when they do smoke it, maybe a little demotivation in some cases, some people it does the opposite, it motivates them, um, but it depends on the circumstance I guess, but uh, I think her heroin, ice and all this fucking shit, that will make you do some fucked up shit. And it'll make you do some nasty shit. Even that bath salt shit, that, that stuff will send you completely off the fucking deep end. And I've heard plenty of bad stories from different people, and I've seen plenty of bad stories from different people. I'm like, wow, really? What the fuck? Seriously. Like, just some of the shit you do end up seeing people doing. Uh, and some people would argue that you do the same thing on booze sometimes, but... I think it depends on the circumstances. With booze, you have to be in the mood to do a particular thing, or you have to be... I mean, the only reason booze will depress you is if you're in a depressive mood when you start drinking. When you start, that's my point. If you start drinking and you're in a depressive mood, yeah, it's going to make you feel ten times worse. Um, the other side of it, too, is that the, uh, there's some circumstances where I don't understand people. Like, okay, firstly... You never get try to get into a violent confrontation with somebody who's had a drink. You just let them relax, chillax, and you just nod and just fuck your head around. You know, most of the time you can end up convincing the person to just relax, you know? The only time you will find that's not the case is if somebody's really extremely pissed off. And that's only those circumstances in most cases. Or unless the person's really fucking depressed. Like, I mean seriously depressed. And they're just in that depressive mood where they just want to want act out violently. Something. But then some turn around and say that alcohol can fuel violence. Yeah, no argument there. Weed, from what I'm getting from people, is that it doesn't fuel violence as much. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty much, yeah. It tends to make people feel more relaxed. So, yeah. Um, this is the same context with, like, fucking... I think codeine and like uh, oxycontin and stuff, that type of stuff. I can I can see situations where that does make people feel relaxed. Um, there's a pain reliever, but it also it can make people feel relaxed in certain circumstances. So. I don't know, I'm just randomly running around talking about freaking drugs that you shouldn't do. Drugs are bad. <laughs> Love South Park. Drugs are bad. I don't really consider weed a drug, but I don't really... I mean, there's certain drugs in these that this day and age that obviously can make some people do some fucked up shit. You see it very often. You do see it, and there's a lot of examples of it in society, so... Unfortunately, they're just... Well, see, I don't know. Some people turn around and say, Oh, it's like, um, what's ecstasy? It's a feel-good drug. But who the fuck knows what the fuck you're putting into your body, chemically speaking? That's pretty... 
Yeah, it's dodgy. It's dodgy because you don't know what you're putting, you don't know what's being put into it. And you don't know, chemically speaking, what it's made up of, so do you, how do you know it's going to, how, how, well, sorry, how do, you, how do you know or which particular way it's going to affect your brain? And I died. Yes, that's right. I decided to climb over a wall and commit suicide. <laughs> Not really, I just didn't realise that that sort of had a drop off like that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do think it is a bit stupid, though, that um, the world we live in, people seem to... Um, I think my initial concern is... I mean, if, you, if somebody's going to... I mean, half the reason that people end up fucking up shit or doing irresponsible shit or doing something stupid is because they get fucked up on a drug, true. But the truth of the situation is there's also the other side of it too. If people legitimately want to shoot up on this stuff or whatever they might be doing, um, they should have an area they should have an area where they're safe that they can do that. And not feel like they're being judged, firstly. But also at the same time maybe a safe area where they're monitored for the fact that um they can do it if they want to. They're just they're just like did an overdose sort of thing. And I think that's the problem we live in a society where, you know, I mean, perhaps if certain things, I mean, okay, maybe if certain things were sort of not legalized, but monitored more stringently in that sense of things, maybe people could still do them, but not be in as much danger in certain situations. I don't know, that's, that's how I think of it anyway. I think if if people wanted to do that, that's their choice. They can do that. But the other side of it is too. These people would have a safe place to go to do it. Because you got to consider that most of the time they end up people will be, end up becoming addicts because of mm, assholes. Or what I like to call it. yeah assholes. Asshole drug dealers, as it were, because these drug dealers take advantage and they know people can get addicted to this stuff. And the unfortunate thing is that, that um, these drug dealers are never monitored correctly. They are never, um... Well, as I said, the dealers, they don't care. All they care about is the fact that they're getting money in their fucking pocket. The truth of the situation is that they do feed the dr people's drug habits to get the money out of them. I mean, if it, I mean, if you really think about it, it's the drug dealers that are the cause of the issue. I mean, I'm I'm talking about the you know the big heroin dealers, the cocaine and uh, was it cocaine or whatever and other things of that nature. I mean, all that stuff. You know, um, these people. are the cause and effect of the problem. Basically because there's no one supplying the drugs. And sometimes they are the people who take unreasonable actions to secure the money in their drugs. I guess you could sort of say... I mean, I guess you could swore to say this is the same thing about Big Pharma, like pharmacies, like farming, or, you know, Big Pharma, or, you know, generally in company, companies like that. Big companies like that, big pharmacy companies. They... They sort of do the same thing, but they're a little more regulated. i got to say, they're a lot more regulated than... Um, than any drug dealer or cartel or whatever. It would be the Mexican cartels or whether it be the Russian Mafia or whether it be Tainov or whatever. My point is these people they're not regulators so get as much. I need something. Need my head examined. My head. My head hurts. 
No, it doesn't actually. It's far better than mine. I don't actually feel too bad at all. Oh, apparently Gerard's got an embarrassing amount of child pornography. Or supposedly ridiculous in the amount that he does have. It's like, wow. Guys, a fucking dickhead. Yep. I feel very strongly about child predators. I, no, I'm sorry. I, I, they didn't, I did not stomach them because of the fact that my mum was abused. She had a lot of crap to deal with in her life. So, yeah. I do not condone that behaviour. And I would totally torture and fucking kill them. I don't know, that's just my perspective. And I think any reasonable person would have the same line of thought. To be truthful. So my mum went for a lot of shit. And, uh, it's never a good thing for that to happen. I'm also a bit adamantly against scam artists, like people who legitimately try to scam people, like fleece people. Um, oh, what was it? Uh, I was watching... How was I watching? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was watching YouTube videos of like just the stuff these Indian scammers do. I mean, it, it's not it's not isolated to people from India. It's, uh, it's isolated to different people, just different people who are telemar telemarketing scammers as they were. You know, saying, "Oh, there's all these computer problems on the tech support." And it makes me look bad as a technician, be just because of what these people do. You know, like they 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 claim there's viruses on a person's computer. They fuck the person the person's computer up. They fleece all their money off them, including pensioners and people who are really, really fucking low incomes. And they fleece them for very, very varying amounts of money. And I'm sorry, but they are very bad people. And, you know, uh, assholes, really. I mean, I don't know. At the end of it, supposedly they're giving a service. No, they're not giving a service. That's just bullshit. Yeah. I mean, other types of scammers, mm, not as, I don't have as much, yeah, I don't have as much towards, I mean, I, I still, I, do, I still think scamming is wrong, and I don't think it's the right thing to do, and if you, if you don't know how to legally make money, that's your problem, the end it, at the end of it, it is, mm, you know, it is not that hard to make money legally, you know what I mean? So, at the end of it, you know. Um, as I said, I've, I've come to the conclusion Uh, there's two fucking cops just walked by me and I had a fucking chain gun in my hand. <coughs> That's hilarious. Right. No, as I said, the thing that I've learned is that some scammers, I think, well, okay, you know, there's legitimate scammers that are just trying to make a buck. A quick buck. Well, sorry, not legitimate scammers. There's like scammers who are just trying to make a quick buck. And there's scammers who, you know, they'll sell something a bro somebody a broken item or something like that, which, that's common. Um, there's the other side of it, too, where people try to fleece people for money, you know, saying claim they won a lottery ticket or something like that. Um, oh, man, there's just, there's a lot of scams going around. And, I mean, you know, there's a romance scams. There's, there's tons. There's heaps. And, I mean, there's some scams like you just look at and it's like, yeah, well, I guess the person's just trying to survive. But at the other side of it, too... That shows how how to, how much of a low morally despicable person they are, if they're able to do that. You know what I mean? Speaking from somebody who is legitimate, as I said, I try to be as legitimate as I possibly can. And you know, I mean, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I forget things. I don't, you know. I'm entitled to a few mistakes, I think. And um, but most of the time, I'm honest. I try to be forthcoming with people I mean even when electronics and stuff if there's something wrong with a bit piece of electronic item, like an electronic item that I'm selling if there's something wrong with it I, went, I will mention it I think as I had a camera which the basically the speaker didn't work on the inside of it like the camera itself worked it was fine it recorded video and you could play it back and all that but as I said the speaker didn't work the actual uh, speaker in the in the camera itself so at the end of it um 
I put that up on the listing. I said the, everything works fine on this camera. This camera does fully function. It just the speaker does not work. And I, I was, as I said, I was legitimate with that. And I said, well, okay, this is how it works. So anyway, it is, this is it. At the end of it, I sold it. I got a reasonably good price for it. And um, I didn't lie. You know, I didn't hold anything back. I didn't tell. I mean, okay, it's different. Like, for example, like a, if I'm selling a reconditioned laptop, on the other hand, and it's a battery or something like that. Like, for example, uh, battery is disposable in my mind. Especially these days, and even when you're sell selling reconditioned computers like laptops, unless it's a tablet, then I will divulge exactly what the battery power is, and because I mean, it's not easy to replace a battery in a, in a, in a tablet. But uh, aside from a la a laptops themselves, batteries in most cases are easily replaceable. In most cases, there are a few instances where they're not. I admit that, but there's also, you know, times where, it, you know, as I said, I'm willing to admit in certain circumstances, but I mean, when the item in question is, say for example, is the battery and it's, you know, it's lighting like maybe 20 minutes of power, I'll try to be as honest as I can with the person and say, well, okay, it's only hold, it only holds this much power. On the other hand, if I leave it on my shelf for a week or whatever, two weeks or whatever, and it comes back and the battery is no longer holding power, that's not really my responsibility. It's not my responsibility to buy a new battery, because in my mind, it is, it is a disposable item, and that means I have to put more money into the sale. On top of putting more money into the sale, I have to, I'd have to put, add more money to make it profitable to sell the item in the first place. So, at the end of it, I make, I make it cheaper to sell the item, by selling it, you know, just the battery with no guarantee, because the battery doesn't know the hardware and everything else, like the actual memory, hard drive, you know, uh, processor, all that stuff, screen, everything else. That all comes with the guarantee that it was, that it's working, it's been tested. But batteries, no. I would never guarantee a battery because of how disposable they are. And in most cases these days, and the ones that I've come across so far, most batteries are pretty cheap. They're, mm, some batteries, depending, can sometimes like be like ninety bucks or something. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, no, I know, I know. Uh, so yeah, at the end of it, that's what I figure anyway. So, at the end of it, as I said. Um, I don't guarantee batteries, but I do guarantee the hardware in a particular item to be working and functional and to serve the purpose that it was intended for. But as I said, as I said, I, and I, as I said, I will be honest with people when I tell them it's like, okay, this, this item doesn't a particular, a particular a particular part of this doesn't work or this does work or doesn't work it's sort of combination of I will explain to somebody if something doesn't work on on an item in question and I'm always very adamant about that I want to make sure that I do it's the same context of me testing parts before I am or I sell them I make sure the part is working I give like a small guarantee, which is probably about less than maybe a month, three months, maybe 90 days or something like that, I think it's like three months or something. So I'm willing to guarantee that, you know, that, that item for that amount of time. After that amount of time, you know, it's pretty much on your own. Really, so. The other side of it too, I'm willing to test something, I'm willing to... I mean, if people want to bring things back, I can test them and I can see if they aren't working. I mean, at the end of it, I've got most of the testing equipment for the percentage of the things I do. Uh, well, it depends. I mean, RAM sticks, I sort of got testing equipment. I've, I've got some things I can test it on anywhere or a known working computer sort of thing. So. Uh, I'm, I'm driving around randomly here. I'm like, Bleh. Fucking, I can't believe that. There's fucking cops. It's just like, it's like oh, I've got a chain gun. It's like, they just casually walk past me, pointing their guns in the other direction. I'm like, okay, then. That's nice, dear. 
Uh, so I'm not doing too bad this morning. I'm like half awake, half asleep. So I'm wondering whether I should go back to sleep for a little while longer and then wake up a little bit later. I don't know. Because I, 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 I am sort of half asleep at the moment. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I just had this feeling I couldn't get back to sleep. I was like a. a paranoid. I was just. I felt. apprehensive. It's probably just state of mind uh, see with a lot of the shit going on in this world lately I've just I, I guess you know, I've got my defensive mode on you know where I'm like I'm feeling defensive or like I have to defend or protect something and I mean I think that's a natural instinct anyway with most human beings and it probably the reason that I have been occasionally waking up early and just feeling I've got something to do or something to defend or protect or something like that or something to monitor or you know something of that nature I don't know as I said this is just a feeling that I get and I don't get that feeling all the time I get just get, just get it from time to time where it's just like it it's it's like it, it's a bit like paranoia but it's not it's not really paranoia it's more like just apprehension you know? uh, anxiety as it were Do it, man. Other than me, oh, I probably need sleep. I should probably get like maybe a few more hours sleep. Just wake up a little bit later and do some more streaming, because that's a good idea. And um, probably clear my head a little bit. I mean, to be honest, I got a whole shitload of videos to upload, and I probably need to stream. I might stream some. G oh, G -K -4. So, I might stream some Fallout 4 later. As well as Fallout 4 is going to stream some other stuff as well, maybe. Um, Dishonored? Maybe Fallout 4. Oh, I'm just running around randomly in GTA at the moment. Yeah, I'm fucking tired again. Unbelievable. I was like, I, I woke up at 3 a.m., I'm sitting there and I got that little bit of anxiety. I'm like, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. Can't sleep. Insomnia, anxiety slash. And I'm like, fuck! Go to sleep, you motherfucker! I felt like going to sleep, and then, uh, it's like, uh, adrenaline. <sighs> oh, good. I'll get there eventually. And there's other moments where I stay up late purposely, like, I'll just, I'll keep myself awake on purpose, and it's like, yeah. Entitled to a little anxiety from time to time. A little anxiety never goes astray. A little anxiety and a little bit of protective instinct is okay. This is part of human nature. Today, totally cool, man. Totally tubular. Killed it. Wanna maim? Maim the motherfucker. Uh, some. No, I'm looking, not looking forward and sort of looking forward. I mean, I've, I've got the dentist on Monday. I'm going to look at my teeth because I think my teeth are a bit fucked at the moment. So Hopefully they can save my front teeth because I don't know. They've got fucking holes in them at the moment in my front teeth. So I'm like, ah, uh, my teeth are fucked. Absolutely fucked. Well, not completely fucked. I mean, they, they still look okay, but... Uh, there's no rotting part of them, but they're not rotted or anything, they're just got holes in the front of them. Uh, in the front ones, anyway. And, um, quality, they've got a bit chip, I've probably chipped off, I've chipped off my teeth at some point. So, <coughs> so we will see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens on Monday, if they have a look at my teeth. And say no, sorry, I can't do anything. Or like, like they'll just say, oh, we'll probably have to pull that. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Right. Uh, it's mood, man, mood. Oh my god, I'm tired. Okay, I think I will leave the streaming for now. I'm gonna get off here and maybe just get a little more sleep. And then I'll wake up a little bit later in the afternoon and do some more streaming. Mainly because, I don't know, I was just apprehensive last night and I couldn't for the life of me work out fucking why. That's 
pretty natural to be apprehensive from time to time. So. Alright, thank you very much, YouTube slash Twitch TV. I hope you enjoyed. Oh my god. Yeah, hope you enjoy my channel and my stuff. There's always got my uh, my YouTube channel as always. You can always subscribe to my stuff on there. I pass on all my streaming stuff onto it as well as doing my own actual YouTube videos. It's all gaming, taking things apart, pulling, you know, just curiosity as a technician. Uh, Patreon campaign if you're interested. I've got a gold mine account as well if you want to contribute to that. Um, all my Patreon account and PayPal link and there's a couple of things. Also eBay auctions. I sell stuff, I still sell stuff on eBay as well. Which, um, it's variant with the stuff I sell on eBay sometimes. Also, I sell stuff on Gumtree as well, but that's only if you're in Australia. Um, I sell some, I sell a combination of different things on eBay. It's mostly HD DVDs at the moment and maybe like what, like a capture device, old capture device that I don't use anymore. Um, and a few Xbox games, I think. Xbox 360 games. So, yeah, there's a couple of things there. I don't know if might find something interesting, might not. It all depends. Um, what else? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus. Yeah, all those lovely services as per usual. You want to stay tuned. I also offer to anybody who's in Canberra local repair services if you're interested in my repair services. Um, I also build gaming machines locally as well, sort of thing, a combination of. I can try to cater for people's budget as well. Uh, aside from gaming machines, I you know, I do repairs, virus scanning, you know, and sort of bit networking as well. I even do networking. Um, uh, as I said, I, I do try to get out to people's places, but it's not always easy because I don't always have access to a car. So I'm always easy to think. Most of the time, I try to do I try try to do things on par with, unless it's like a, a job that I actually have to go out there for like for example like a router or something like that. I have to adjust. Um, yeah, that's primarily the reason that I um. Only reason that I end up you know trying to find transportation and stuff. But most of the time, if I can help it, I try to do it at, at my workshop or my workbench, um, my home workshop. Which, as I said, it's a small, it's not a small hobby because it's not massive, so it's, it's just me doing it, so, yeah. Keeps me busy, keeps me functional, keeps me from probably sometimes uh, getting stuck on my conditions and just feeling, just not feeling good about myself and things like that, and just, you know, gets me out of my razor depression sometimes and focuses me and gives me positive outlook and things like that. So, I mean, as I said, that's, that's, that's some other stuff I do locally. Do my local repairs. I, you know, I do all that, and pretty much the online stuff is part of my personality as well. I, I do rant stuff. I do from time to time. I rant about stuff. I was ranting. I did rant about not. Well, I ranted about the government. I ranted about my the internet, which, which, to be honest, is understandable with, with the state it's in. Um, but yeah, I do that type of stuff. Uh, anyway, drop on my eBay options if you're uh, if you're interested, and uh, yeah. It's, as always, stay tuned. There's always more to come. Don't know what exactly it's going to involve. It's probably going to involve a combination of things. I honestly do believe. Um, most likely, it'll be stuff that I've done previous, uh, like gaming stuff, and some of it might be just some desktop stuff that I might want to do, like just isolating off and so showing you pieces of software and stuff that I use, whether it be for YouTube or other things that you you do in the PC industry. So, yeah. Alright, anyway, thank you very much. And, uh, as per usual, like, favorite, and subscribe. Or follow me. Even follow me on, um, Twitch. If you're interested in my stuff. Uh, you can follow me on there. You can, as I said, you can uh, subscribe on YouTube. I need, as I said, I started to need to start uploading those videos. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to get around to that eventually. Which, to be honest, I'll probably start doing it today, maybe. I just have to find the appropriate video to be the first upload. 